It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Auntie 755. The wait is over. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just kidding kids are the best kids, baby. Yes, they are.
whip my paintbrush out and then I say, just kidding. And pain. Thank you so much, Elizabeth Brown. I'm just talking and chatting up. I ain't turned the mic on, baby. Love you. That's why you my 755. You like my backup. You know what I'm saying? I know you can hear me now. Get the mic on. So let me start from the top. I was telling Nicole Reeves. She was here. She said, woo, and let's paint. Um, I'm giving a shout out to all the adults over on 755 Media. If you are over there on 755 Media, please go over to the Just Kidding side. If my mods are here, they can really give me a drop a link for the Just Kidding. So everybody can go thumbs up to kids. The kids got to get ready. They got to get their paint. They got to get their brushes. They got to get their water. Lay down the tarp. Let's go. We are ready, family. We are ready. So Vivian Crosby is here. That's my two hun. Everybody knows Vivian. Hi, Vivian. Hey, baby. She's been around. She's like part of the structure over here at 755 Media for sure. I love you, Vivian. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Stay Unique Print World 2 is in the house. What's up, girl? What's going on, Stacey? How you doing? And she's speaking to everyone. Elizabeth, get down. Brown is in the building. That's my girl told me to turn the volume up. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Thank you for coming in, Elizabeth. Thank you, Jerry Banks is in the house. When I think of Jerry Banks, I think of money, honey. That Y'all see the money signs? The bank is in the building. What up, the bank? And I'm going to call you the bank. All right, so listen. Uh, White Down TV, wiping those whites in the house. Yeah, you, you missed the monetize over there? Let me know. I need to know, honey. I need to know. I need to know. Yeah, he says, just kidding. Be, okay, everybody. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, come on in the building. Share me out. If you got the capabilities, I really would appreciate it. And so would the kids. Nicole Reed said, we deserve art for sure. And you know what, Nicole? Kids deserve art too. The parents are over there chanting, we deserve art, kids. What do you guys say? All right. They can't type it, but we're going to get some kids in here. I hope so in the background. All right. Practical Things is here. Appreciate you coming in. Sweet tea. I know you got your sweet tea wrapped all up and got this nice little straw out of there. You ready to take a little sip of something? Yes. Come on in, fam. Dip Designs is in the building. Yeah. What's up, baby? Love you, Dems. Thank you so much. Okay. Everybody's here. All right. And if they're not here, you know what to do. 
share them out. Let's get these paint brushes out today, y'all. Listen, I gotta use a variety of brushes. So I know I like to use my angle brush because it's what as an angle. So we get into that angle brush. I got a nice flat brush here. It's a smaller one, but we know they need it for detail. And speaking of detail, y'all already know I got to have a detail brush. Okay, so we got that going on. Kids, get your water. Get your paint. I'm ready to paint now. I'm ready to paint. Y'all been waiting all week for me, so get it together. Meanwhile, excuse me, I'm going to play the new song. Well, it's a revamp song. So I've just, this is the way, it, I just got a couple of things more to do on it, but this is the way the song should be. And don't fret if you don't see the pictures of your kid or your grandkid that you may have sent me. <clears throat> For some reason, it's a folder missing, and I'm not sure where it is. I might have to go back into my email and fix it. So this whole type, the, the video is nowhere near complete, but the song is almost where I want it. Here we go, y'all. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm too set up Cowgirl, because um, well, it's supposed to be like 12 high noon, and then we got Shandy Cheek whistling in the background, and then the bell is ringing, and the two cow artists is walking, and they're doing the pace, and it's countdown, and, and it's only 12 noon, and, and, and then they turn to face each other, and then you whip out your paintbrush, and you draw. But I didn't have a cowboy hat, so I just put a pirate emoji on myself. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. This segment of the art is brought to you by me. But I'm going to be using these golden paints until they contact me. Okay. Let's get into it. Shirley Dabby is here. What's up, sis? Yeah. Shirley is here. What's going on? I appreciate you. If I miss you, you guys, uh, please uh, forgive me. Okay, so I got a little white. It's got some black on it, but it's actually white. And I got some black. And I'm going to put that on my palette. Just a little bit, you guys. It's not a lot. 
because keep in mind this this painting is not big. It's, it's a twelve by twelve. It's gonna look good on our wall when we're finished. I must make sure you recap the paint when you're done. Okay, uh, Golden, can I talk to you about the caps on this paint? Can we talk about that? All right. So yeah, I got my white, I got my black down. We get a little bit blue because you know cowboys got blue in it. So we're gonna put some blue down. All right, let me get that on here like so. There it is. Put it out. It's kind of squishing out. Okay, we got the tops on it. All right. So how everybody? What you been doing, everyone? I miss you guys. I hope that you miss me too. Um, we got some yellow because everybody knows it still has yellow. So I'm put that right next to the black so I won't forget to add that in for sure. And because it's not just yellow, it's actually like a goldish color. So I'm going to add a little red in there, but I'll do that later. So I'm hoping, like I said, everyone's having a great day. Got a good lunch going on. Rudy Crafton is here. Crushy Pieces is in the building. Shady Cheeks, one cheek baby, is in the house. That's right. That's right, y'all. So. All right, so when we last left off, we were painting the cowboy jersey, okay? Now, this guy, uh, his name is, I think they said Brown now. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get it on there. Maybe I won't even put his name on it. You know, we're artists. We can do what we want, okay? I got my detail brush out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just dip it in water. And then, listen, famous little... Three taps on the side just to throw the water off. You don't want a bunch of water. And I'm going to get into what I want is this blue here and a little bit of white. All right. And so I'm just going to start swirling around until it changes that blue to a lighter shade. Once it changes it to a lighter shade, I'm going to take it off, take some up on my brush, and I'm going to come over and test it and see if it's what I want. Okay. And yeah, it is. Okay, so I just want this a lighter blue, a lighter shade of blue. Everybody go ahead and grab yourself a cool beverage, maybe a sandwich. It is lunchtime. And get yourself back in here in front of this YouTube telly, honey, so we can get these cowboys to, together and these stillers together, okay? So I know I asked last week, what is, which one is your favorite team, if any of them? You probably have your own favorite team. Maybe your grandson's football team is your favorite team. We don't know. We want to find out. Okay? Yeah, so let us know in the chat. Maybe it's the girls' powder puff team is your favorite team. Maybe um, it's your local high school or college. So let us know what team is your favorite. And we'll just show a little bit of team spirit here in the Just Kidding channel. If you can, please share out the Just Kidding. Please go ahead and do that. Mods, if you can, and I appreciate it, would you mind dropping the Just Kidding channel in the chat so that the adults can go over and, um, you know, give them a thumbs up. The kids deserve a thumbs up today. They're up early. They're getting everything ready. They came in. They got a new song today. They deserve so now I got the light here. So do this, kids. Get your while well, it's still wet, because you want to blend. You always blend when it's wet. Grab a teeny bit of that blue. Just a teeny bit. Okay. Just a little little bit of it. And come in here and now blend this part, the darker blue, into the lighter blue. If it's too light, go back and get some more blue. Because what we're doing is we're adding contrast of light and darkness. And there's a light darkness on this man's leg, okay? So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to make the curvature of his rear end a stand out a little bit more because it does. So you just want to paint what you see and just drag it on up. If you're working where I'm working, we should be working in the same spot. If not, you should because that way you can keep up, right? So we're just going to fade that in. Just keep scrubbing to all your paint is off the brush. And you got this area looking the way it does in a reference photo. Okay? So that's starting to come together. We see it. All right? You guys see what's going on here? All right. Thank you, White Down, for the share. He said it's done. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, for sure. Because we need the Washington Commanders. Okay, you said the Washington Commanders. 
Now, is that a team in your area? Is this a team somewhere else that you really like? Let us know, White Knight. We appreciate that. So shout out to the Washington Commanders. We hope that they're having a good, good uh, game today. They're playing. We like that. We like to know what's going on in our community, our YouTube community, you guys, okay? So I'm just kind of scrubbing. And, you know, details versus is not for this, but I feel a little bit like I need to um, just work close. So I want to just use the brush that I feel comfortable with. You guys use the brush that you feel comfortable with. And together, I almost guarantee you that we are going to have perfect, perfect painting. Okay, so I see a little lightness over here. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just kind of scrubbing it over here because it's just a little bit of lightness, not much. And I don't know why it's over here, but it is. So we're going to go ahead and paint that. Maybe trim down this line on his pants some too. I don't think it's that thick. So we're going to trim it down. Just trim it down. Keep painting. And do your thing, family. I'm so proud of each and every one of you that come out here and paint every week. You know what I mean? And if you miss a week, that's okay. That's all right. Just pick up where you left off. It's always replays. Okay? So you make sure you indulge in the replays because... I don't want you to miss something you might want to paint. You may have wanted to paint the sailboat. You may have wanted to paint the fish in a bowl. I don't know. But if you wanted to, it's okay. Go back and just watch the replays, okay? So I'm just adding more white on the stripe to give it a little bit of definition. And I'm taking my time because it is a thin area, okay? I'm going to get a little bit of blue on my brush because I had some on here earlier. So I want to just... Bring this leg in, the stripe down rather. Bring the stripe down. I'm going to keep on adding a little bit of blue and a little bit of white until I bring that stripe down. See how I just did that? Okay, so you could do it too. I believe that you guys can do anything you set your mind to. All you have to do is want to do it and Try to do it. Got to try to. You just can't sit there and want to do it and think it's going to happen. So just always try and ask for help. If you don't have the, let's say for instance, when I mean ask for help, if you don't have a canvas and you know you need a canvas, you don't have a canvas, well, ask someone. Say, listen, I want to really paint with well, Auntie 755 and I need a canvas. And so it will happen for you. If you just got, might have to ask a couple of people, but. That's okay, but you'll get it done. You know what I mean? You'll get it done, and that goes for anything. Wipe Down said the, the NFL team, Washington Redskins, changed their name to the Washington Commanders. Okay, that's what's up. I remember what's the big thing about that. I actually thought the team name was super fly like it was, but, you know, hey, I understand. I do understand. It's almost like the pancakes. Okay, let's not get into that. But anyway, uh. Shout out to Unbiased LLC, who is gracious with her presence. What's up, sis? Yeah, come on in, y'all. Appreciate it. 15 people in the building. Sandy, did you hear the, did, did you hear the high back the new song? Did you hear it? I'm going to switch my brush to the flat brush you got. Because now I'm going to work on the thigh. Now, the thigh area I have going straight down. That's not the way it is. It's got actually, it has a curve on it, okay? But the reason why I did that, because I want to paint over what? These lines, the grid lines that's in the arc. Let me bring it over so y'all can see. See the grid lines on here? It has numbers and it tells them where their goals are and how far they got to go. Yeah, so this is what we need to paint next. Do you have a ruler? If you have a ruler, get your ruler out. Okay? If you do not have a ruler, do you have something flat, like with a straight line like this kind of thing like this? Do you have something like that? Do you have something like a old school book that you're using or haven't used in a long time? Get that out and get the straight edge of it, okay? And now these lines don't go straight across like this. This is not what you see. No, no, no. They go in a diagonal, okay? Diagonal means like sideways, almost like a tilt to it, okay? So we want to figure out where the tilt is. I see it's going up like right here. All right, so about just above the part where he's got the um, the 
the black on his leg, okay? So we're just going to put that there. Now, if you have to, you can tape it, or you can just go ahead and hold it with your hand. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to dip it to my detail brush, the smallest brush that I have. Get a little white on it, okay? And then I'm going to go straight across. Now, the trick is to hold it steady, you guys. Hold it steady, all right? And then just go. Don't stop. That's the thing. Don't stop. Just go. Straight over the guy and everything. Just go straight over him. And then get, if you need more paint, get it. All right. I'm going to start in the cowboy shirt because this cowboy shirt is already white. So that means I have less uh, gook or paint just gooking up. So I just start there and I drag it all the way across. Okay. And then I see another one. No, no, don't worry about the guys. We're going to fix the guys. We can go back over the guys. Or we can fix it. Don't worry about them. I want you to concentrate on the lines. So get the paintbrush. If you need it, dip it in the water because the water gives you fluency. And when you get fluency, your paint will be all dried up and gooked up. Okay? Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Start with the white ears. See this white right here? And go that way. With it. Come on back. Just go back and forth. Go back and forth. And then you can go over his leg just to make sure it's a perfectly straight line. Or you can skip over his leg and come down here. And you can just put that line on there. This is the grid line, okay? There you go. So you got that on there, all right? So you don't need a lot of them. There's one more that's up here, higher. So we're going to our, tip our ruler. And we'll go right here. And some of you might say, you're going so fast. You had a ruler. Okay. Pause me. Pause me. Go grab your ruler. That's how you got to work things. You got to make things work for you. You know, I like to do my side, so I'm just going to come over and make a diagonal shape for my line so that it wraps around the canvas like so. And I like it to look that way. This is my preference, but it doesn't necessarily have to be yours. Now, so just go around like this. I'm going to sit that down. Now, some people are paused. Big Daddy Beard Gaming is in the building. What's going on, big guy? Appreciate you coming in, man. You're loyal to me, man, when you come on these Saturdays. I appreciate you. You don't think I would see that, but I do. I recognize it, and I appreciate you. Y'all, fam, yes. My mom's is in the building. Y'all chopping it up. Um, I got paint that's coming off of my brush. And it's not the greatest brush ever. Sometimes that will happen. It can be irritating, okay? Because the dry wood is on your skin and it kind of feels crazy and it makes the back of your ears kind of tingle, but it's okay. You can always use some, excuse me, some tape to go around it, or you can buy some new brushes. Yeah, like me. Yeah. All right. So you get your brush, you wet it, right? And then you come over the man where you put the the white paint, and you know it's not supposed to be there, and you just rub it out. Just rub it out with your wet brush. And the white will go away. It's going to go away. Okay? All right. So I should have rinsed my brush off after each time I did. Just rinse the brush off. Then it'll be just fine. Okay, so now we got the grid lines down. But, fam, we're not done because there's numbers down there. There's numbers on the grid line. Yeah. And I think they're at the 40-yard line here. So that would be like right here. So we need to draw a 40. So... You can draw it like that, or you can tip your painting this way. If you tip your painting this way, it'll make it easier for you to draw a 40 because your eyes are accustomed to 40 looking a certain way. So if you try to draw it upside down, it might come out backwards. But we're going to draw it like this. I'm going to just take a little white on my brush. I'm going to come right in here, and I'm going to draw a very thin 40. Okay. Very thin. Should have been thinner than that, but it wasn't. We're going to keep it going. All right. So I might as well draw this a little thicker too now. All right. And then there's something down here, but we won't talk about it. We're just going to act like we're drawing a 40 right down there. Okay. There's something over here. But we're going to act like, so that's 40. Then this big line here got to be 50, 
possibly. It could be 30, and this could be 20. So let's just say they almost have to touch now. So we're going to just put a two, just like a two and a zero, very faintly on the ground, just faintly, because you don't see it that good on the pitch. So we're just going to put it there, and then we can see that it's possibly something there. All right. And there's also sideline hashtags, not hashtags, hash marks. So you can go over there, you can add these little marks in there, like so, and just go sideways until you get them on in there like you want. You know what I mean? You can just add them in there. Now, that's just for interest. You don't have to do it, okay? So now, let's see where we at. Now we got a little, little something on the field, okay? A little something, something on the field, right, Big Daddy Gaming? Now, Big Daddy Gaming, he plays video games, but he also plays other types of games, too, and I'm sure. He's played a football game with two. Salute. Salute back to you. Yes. You, sir, how you doing? How you doing, baby? Say hi. Thank you. I'm fine, and thank you for coming in here. Zare. I'm going to say it's Zare, because usually the U is silent after a Z, okay, or a W. So I'm going to say Zare. Zare or Zare? It's one of the two. Family. Yeah. Come on up in here. Everybody. Yeah. Advice. Have you met Zare? Check out Zare, yeah. All right, so anyway, listen, Um, just wanted to say big hugs to everybody that's here. I appreciate you guys. So I'm going to get back into my flat brush, and I'm going to try to finish this five now that I got the field together, because the field got to get done before the five. Y'all know what it is? All right, no. So we're going to go straight into our blue. And just to see how it go, I'm just going to see. Let me give his style a little curvature. Okay, and it comes outward. Like so, like so. It's weird, but it's okay. It's a good weird. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Hope everyone is doing fine today. I hope everyone is having a great day. Much love and respect to you all. Yeah, let's get some background music going because I like to paint to the black background music. So. Let's put some on. I'm going to loop it, too. Yeah, I like that one, the ducks. The feeding the ducks is always cool. Let's listen. If it's too loud, let me know in the chat. All right. Yeah, there we go. This is a little YouTube stream. Y'all can use it. You know what it is, family. Y'all know what it is. So we're 33 minutes in. I do not plan to take this live stream longer than an hour and a half, just so that you know. I want you all to feel comfortable with the time that we share together. So we're going to just go ahead and start painting and you guys keep chatting up and getting to know one another. I appreciate everyone that shared this live stream out. It's so important because with all you guys sharing it out, the algorithm doesn't move but kids and so we need the kids outwards in the world so thank you again for sharing this out appreciate you guys so we're just going to go in here we're going to get his sky painted and that's what we're working at right now yeah and this might just get in kids did you guys know that just kidding kids are the best kids ever they are so don't let nobody tell you anything different. And if you guys um, don't know, then you haven't been watching enough. We, okay, so I'm biased. It's uh, one of my mods. Okay, Cheek is one of my mods. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can address them, all right? And if they don't know the answer, they will get with me and let me know. All right, so I'm coming down. I'm not sure how the socks go because I'm getting to the socks, you know. So I'm getting down here to the socks. And I just went diagonally. I don't have any kids painting with me in the background today. So they probably painting from home. And that's great. I like that too. That's that way they always end up emailing me. It seems like when they do not come up, that's when they will not email me. So I want you guys to email me. Let me know what y'all got going on. Yeah. 
Slayer Sigler is here. Hey, make what Maryland is in the house. Tay Weezy, the champ, is here. What's up, champ? How you doing, man? So I'm getting a little uh, white on my breast now, and I'm gonna come over it, and I don't want this so dark. I want the light to reflect off his leg. So we're just gonna lightly paint in some white, all right, and change the tone over here. All the way down. And just kind of bring it over a little bit. And just kind of show the world that Elvis gets to this ball, okay? He don't catch the ball. All right, so I'm thinking that this is all part of the pants too down here. I want it to be a little bit lighter, not so much lighter. So I'm just going to add a little white to my brush. And bring it on down, bring it on down. He is stretching out for this ball, okay? So there it is, we're painting it like so. Yes, everybody enjoy your afternoon. Thanks for coming in, you guys are awesome. Awesome. I had a little technical difficulties earlier with my sound. So if I did not speak to you, I, I apologize. Um, now that I'm getting on with the show, I just want to say that I really do apologize. That happens, you guys know how I go. So, so now I just blend it in, and, and I'm not liking how this is looking, but it is what I see. So, but I am going to just go with it for now. I'm gonna paint a little stripe on the side down here. Make it a little better once we put it together. So he's got his leg kicked out. Okay, it's kicked out. And so I'm just gonna go with the flow here and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna tighten up this other leg. Add in a little white to my paint and just straighten it out some, like so. All right. So, all right. So now when we get here, he's got a white uh, shoe on. I can't put it on there, but I can make this a little lighter right here. The stripe here in the soft area. I'm gonna put that in there. All right. You know you guys can rest. I see you, Tay Weezy. I see you. <laughs> Shout out to all the adults on the 755 Media side. Shout out to all the kids on the 755 Media just kidding side. Let's go. Who will win today? Will it be the Steelers? Will it be the Cowboys? We don't know. So listen, this is supposed to be a shoot area. I want you guys to paint it white, even though it's already white on the canvas. Because over time, your canvas will yellow and you'll have a mess. So make sure you paint it. All right. Give it a little curve around because it is a shoe and it is on its ankle. So make sure y'all put that in there. And I like that. All right. So now I'm going to get into his jersey since I got some white on my breast. Let me just make sure I get a little white on my paintbrush, like so. Okay? And we're going to come up here. I see you, Shandy. I see you. All right. All right. So the, the parents say, why are you ain't sending me, though? I need to know. They want to know. The parents, the kids want to know, parents. Why y'all not subbing them, though? That's what the kids say. Okay, that's what the kids want to know. We're going to paint this jersey white in all the areas that we do not have to do. And just start painting it up, you know what I mean? Let's go. So we're just gonna get into it over here. And keep in mind, these are stripes, so you can't stripe the shirt, blouse the shirt, or for the lack of better term. I think that's what my buyers would tell me, to blouse the shirt. Okay, so just come around and paint it, and paint all of this. And just keep painting it until you get all the areas that's supposed to be white. White. 
okay? Now, it's the thing here, this numbers, okay? I think we're ready to paint them. I'm ready to paint them. What is your favorite number? My favorite number is 755. That's my favorite number. What's your favorite number? Let me know. Let me know by painting it, okay? If your number is a three, then on your jersey, you can put a three. You can go ahead and put that in there right now, too. All right? So go ahead and paint your favorite number on your jersey, kid. Yeah, just paint it any kind of way you want. It doesn't have to be a particular way. You can figure it out how to make a football number, right? If you don't know how, all you got to do is look it up on YouTube. I know what your favorite number is. I had to make it look like a football jersey. Yeah, you can look it up. Yeah. It's easy to look things up on Google and YouTube and find information that you need. Yeah. I want you guys to start exercising that right. I think looking stuff on Google is a constitutional right right now. Uh, Sandy, what do you think? Yeah. All right. So we're just going to get that in there. Get that shirt together. Get it all around, guys. Get it all around. We're almost done with this painting. Tory Burton Games is in the house. What's going down? That's the Cowboys. Okay, you're giving me the thumbs up for the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fam. Okay, since you feel like that, let's, let's see. We don't know who's going to win, Tori. We're trying to figure out who's going to win this, this game here on the painting. We don't know yet. We don't know. We're trying to figure it out, Tori. So, yeah. So we're getting into it. Every area that you see is white. Go ahead and paint it white. Yeah. All right. And we're going to get into this number on the back of this jersey. All right. I lay my paint on a little thick there. And it's okay because it is an important feature and it is a highlight. All right. Now. Now. We're getting into the shoulder area around the helmet. I'm gonna take my time. Staying true to the round curvature part of the helmet, okay? All right. There's a lot of things that I can do with this white. I can paint this arm of the Steelers, okay? You wanna make sure this time you paint it, he's back there. The Steelers, uh, great team. We're gonna make sure we talk about that. Now, go into this helmet area. This is white. It was looking a little gray on my ears, so I'm gonna tighten it up. All right. Now, here on this star right in here, this is white. And don't worry about it if you paint over the star. It's all right. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. I promise you. So now um, I'm still fishing out all the white spots that I can fill in. And as I think I'm done, I see even more. So I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to go ahead and fill this up in because this name is Singleton here. But the, nowadays in the new 2020, Team, his name is not Singleton, not number 16 anyway. So, I'm gonna paint that out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my artist license, license to art, do what I want for him. Now, if I wanted to put 755 on his shirt, I could. All right, and you can put whatever you want on your shirt. That's all I'm saying, right? But we're gonna keep the truth to the gay. Cause one of my friends name, one of my lately fam, her name is Elizabeth Get Down Brown. So this man name is Brown in 2022. He had to be a cool person. That's what I think. So, now don't go judging people character by the number they have on or what their last name is. That's not, that's not good practice, kids. Uh, I was just having fun with my adult. Look, got that painted. We're gonna get this arm band painted, a wristband. 
All right, we're gonna get that painted. All right, so we're starting to come alive here. We're starting to come alive here. Big Rooster in the house. Oh, snap. Hey, Big Rooster. we are playing with the kids. How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. All righty. Uh, think something might happen to our new friend. What happened to our new friend? Uh-huh. Things. Gay, 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 gay. What's up, man? How you doing? We painting, we painting uh, Cowboys versus the Steelers, James. Gay, gay. Who you think gonna win, bro? Let us know. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. You guys, I appreciate you guys coming in when I'm painting with the kids. Uh, that really means a lot. So I am paying his number. And it thins out because of the way he's turned. So don't think I'm messing up. It's actually how it is. So take your time when you're doing a number because you're on a white, okay? And it's easy to mess up. It is. I'm not gonna even lie to you guys. I'm always gonna keep it honest with you. It's easy to mess it up. And once you get the color on the white, oh boy, you might be in trouble. Might not be able to recover, okay? So I want you guys to just double check before you put, start putting the paint on your numbers because I want you not to mess up, okay? It's all right. All right, fam, MC for KC is here. Popcorn, hey, popcorn is here, what's up? Everybody throws popcorn around in the chat. Yeah, yeah, he said, what's popping? You, okay, come on, you. You are what's popping, man. I appreciate you stopping here, man. All right, so we're just going to get a little bit of this lighter blue and just tone out to this number because it is not straight because he is reaching. He's reaching for the ball. So when he's reaching for the ball, his shirt gets a little, you know, you know how it is when you reach for a football and you're stretching out. Make sure you reach up high in your chair and see how your shirt will change around. All right? Yeah, everybody's shirt is not this flat. That's right. Let's go, fam. Let's get into it. Let's get this number on here. Hey, 16. Okay. All right. Yeah, you ain't, you're not 16 yet. You'll be 16 one day, that's for sure. All right. Well, I'm just painting the number. Second coat going around it. Just to darken it up because their numbers are dark. So you want to stay true to the game. Always stay true to what you can stay true to if that's what you're doing. But if you're changing it, you can do whatever you want. If you want this this football team to be purple and pink, you can make it purple and pink. Okay? Mother Earth Consult is in the house. What's up, y'all? 21 people in the building. Just kidding. Bam. Let's go over there and check out the Just Kidding crew. Y'all, make sure y'all show the kids some love. All right? So I'm getting some dark blue on my paintbrush. I'm come right in here with a neck area. Okay. This should be an hour and a half screen, you guys. So just letting you know. Um, go to get it in. Get it in here. Start start uh, uh, mixing and mingle with people. You know what I mean, let your presence be known in the chat. Let them know that you're here, yeah, baby. So I'm just going around the helmet now area. And thinly, and I think I need to take my brush out. And I am, because I don't I don't want to start getting all wild in here and, and, and then I mess up. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab my detail brush. I still got paint on this one. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna lay it across the top of my cup like this. And I'm gonna grab my detail brush, okay? Now, tap it off, get the excess water off of it. Tap the towel if you can, if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, go right into my dark blue paint. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get this star together real quick. The star is the pride and joy of the cowboys, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in. If you know a cowboy fan, go ahead and shout my line and tag them in. Go ahead, they won't be mad. Yeah, if you know it's a cowboy player, tag, tag them in there too. So we're gonna get that star up there like so. All right? House of X is in the house. Sure. Naturally, the house of X is in the house. Everybody should be in the house. Send the love out to you guys, man. Thank you so much. All right, I'm biased. I see you, baby. What's up, Vanderpool? Girl, you know, Peyton Sip is about to start up. You know it, right? Did you get the, Did I send you an email? I'm not sure if I have an email address. Pink night. Paint and chill, that's what I call it. Paint and chill. I don't know what I just did, but we ain't gonna talk about that. It's paint and chill. So make sure you uh, email me, Rochelle, if you're interested. And I can get you the information, honey. I think I sent you an email. I'm not sure if I had it from the Miss BS is. Miss BS speaks royalty. You as well, ma'am. I don't know if you're out. I'm using my pinky finger as a balance. Hey, you may not need a balance. I like a balance. So what I'm gonna put my pinky finger right one to look here, right onto my canvas, very lightly, and I'm got and I'm using it to guide me to hold my hand steady. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. All right. So I got that stripe on the helmet now. All right. He's got a number on the other side. Um, it's a 16, so but it's a little lighter, so I'm not going to fool with that right now. Um, got this coming up, got that going on. Boop, boop, boop. And outside of the star is another star. That didn't come out well. <laughs> but it's all right. Y'all know what it is. Don't play with us up in the air. The week is in the house. Come on now, let's go. Okay, well, still, if I don't have it, if I did, if you don't have it in your email, please email me. 755 Media Art at Gmail. It's in my description if you don't get it out the chat. Yeah, and we'll be doing a paint with chill. It's going to happen on the 26th of this month. If you guys are interested, make sure that you all contact me at 755 Media Art at Gmail.com and we'll work out all the formalities and check out my community page. I'm going to be posting it soon. All right, that's for the adults. Now back to the kids. Let's go. All right, let's get the week come on. Where do we paint here? Well, I don't know. This kind of strange team. Okay, so is this painting it? I think I want to paint this. Let's waistband up just a little bit more and strike. All right, like that. All right, kids. So I'm doing a great job. Let's take a commercial break. Enjoy the new song. What well, is not a new song? I just vamped it up and ramped it up a little bit just for you guys. Don't worry. Your grandkids, if your picture is not in here, your, your, your mom and dad, don't worry, mom and dad. I'm going to get it all together. The video's not 100. I just got a little bit more to do on the song, but I want y'all to enjoy it anyway. Here we go. Take a break, everybody. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. It's hot noon. 
draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Auntie set up five, five, uh -huh. we up. The wait is wait, over. Wait, Let's go. Wait. Just kidding. Are you ready? Wait. I'm ready. The just Let's kidding go. kids are the best kids, baby. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Are you ready? question for you guys um why was Cinderella such a poor football player yeah girls can be football players too you guys know right I mean we're paying guys today but girls can be great football players too and and and, and so the question is why was Cinderella such a poor football player oh because her coach was a pumpkin hello ding 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 all right, okay. Well, the, these jokes are sponsored to you by Accessory Lip Gloss. Y'all already know what it is. Sometimes you got to pull your lip gloss out, ladies, and your man bomb in, and you got to do what? Reapply. Reapply. It's time to reapply. When you're at football games, so you know that when your team wins, if your lips are all chapped up and stuff in that blistery uh, cold weather, you guys have to reapply. So make sure that you do. All right. So I'm going to come in here with some black and I'm going to go right around this face guard. Okay. Face guard. Oh, wait a minute. Dorita is a Cowboys fan. So she's here. You guys, make sure y'all welcome her. Um, She's here and she's going to be representing her team. Go Cowboys. She's saying go Cowboys. She's probably happy at home looking at you guys. All the kids, make sure if your brush starts dragging and it's not putting the paint on properly, you put a little water on it and make it fluid, okay? Just a tiny bit of water, you guys. I already know. We don't use a lot of water here when we're painting. I want to put my pinky finger back down. And if you're painting on the table... Um, you shouldn't have this problem, but I do, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And if you're painting on a table, you don't have to. Why don't you be good? 
Stop asking for all this sweet stuff. And you can get yourself easel. Okay? And we have easels available. If you visit my Etsy shop, you can get your kid an easel for the Lolo. Sponsored by Sonia Siegler. Okay? So you guys can go ahead and get yourself one of these. Just kidding. Easels, all you have to do is contact me. Y'all know the email by now. If you don't, I'll tell it to you again. 755 Media Art at gmail.com. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to go around his face guard like so. Okay. Now, can you guys see the face guard? It's starting to come out, right? Okay. Now, shout out to everybody. Ruji Craft in the house. She says, Go Steelers. Dorica says, Most definitely it's a Cowboy Nation. Okay. Big Rooster says, 755 Media. They can't yell, go Cowboys at this painting. The Steelers won this game. Okay, let's go. Tanya D is in the building. The crowd is going wild. The crowd is going wild, you guys, over there. Just kidding. They're, they're watching you guys paint this, and they're going crazy over here. So keep painting. Keep painting. Okay? We're going to keep painting. And we're going to get this done. All right? So we got the Steelers. They have a band that goes around their arm, and we're going to put that in there. And it's a wiggly wobbly because Dumb is catching at this ball, okay? He's catching at it, and so his arm is not straight, so you have to wiggly wobbly. You can do it, you guys. Come on, you can do it. Don't give up on me. I tell you all the time, you can do it, and you can you really, truly can do it. You just have to try hard. Okay, I want you guys to do your best. And if it doesn't turn out the way you want, just keep at it. Just because the show ends does not mean that you have to stop painting, okay? You can always keep going until you get it right. You can always replay, okay? Always replay. That's what I'm here for. All right? Even I make mistakes, so it's not like every artist perfect, every stroke you'll do is perfect. You're not going to achieve that. I'm trying to tell you, I don't achieve it, so I don't expect you to. I just want you to try, okay? So make sure the element is nice and round. If you need to try to put your pinky finger on it, do it. You never know. You'll probably be like... Wow, that really helps me, okay? All right. So since I got black on my brush, I'm going to go now and travel all around and see where I can put black on that, that makes sense, that needs it. I think that I want to do a guy around his sock again. Just around it. Give it a nice, fresh look. Okay, so I'm going to do that. It's a little quiet in the building. When it's get quiet around these kids, y'all got to look at them and see what's going on. Let me see what the kids is up to. All right. Well, one has vanished. <laughs> okay. Uh, Big Rooster says they can't yell, go Cowboys. It's just painting. We need to know, family. Who will win this game on, who will win this painting? MC from Casey said a cowgirl should have a cheerleading outfit. All right. Let's go. Yeah. All right. It's getting tough in here, you guys. It's getting tough. Everybody's speaking to everybody. Tina Bailey is in the house. Thank you, Tina. How are you, honey? I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming in. Also, X is still hanging in here with us, y'all. Tiger D still in the building. Yeah, come on, family. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Shandy Chica. I see you, sis. I see you. Okay, so the 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 Steelers have a black band on here, and they also have a um a white man on their arm, too. So make sure you go in there and get that. You gotta get that now. You can't just leave that part out. All right. So we're starting to see some good stuff going on here. We're starting to see the um, 
the shape come up around this this whole this whole thing is starting to really come together real nice. Um, I don't like how I have this uh, area here that's unpainted. I don't know what that is. It's hard for me to tell, but I'm just going to put it in what I see. All right. And thank you, Toy, for sharing me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you sharing me out, baby. I, I really do. I appreciate that. You're the best. So let's get back into his helmet. I'm going to jump back in. I rinsed my brush out. I got some of this white and blue mixture here. I'll show you. It's like a white and blue mixture that I've created. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start painting this helmet because this helmet is not white. Okay? It's not. It's got a blue tint to it. It's, it's actually silver. All right? But we don't have silver in our kit. So we're going to we're going to use blue, a very light blue, and we're going to go around it like so. And we're going to leave areas white, and we're going to blend them in. But for the most part, we're going to hit it with this silvery blue that we created. So I appreciate everybody being in here. I appreciate all the share outs. The kids have really appreciate it. And we would appreciate it even more if we take a, just a little bit, one step further, okay, and go over and just like the Just Kidding page. My minds will put, make it convenient for you to do so by dropping the link in the chat. Just take a second, you guys. If you really, really, really love the kids, go on over there and like the page for them because they look for the likes. They look for the thumbs up over there. And they're like, why are they not thumbing us up? I don't know why they're not thumbing up, baby. But all I think I can say is we're going to try harder next week to get them to thumbs us up. So I made that promise that I would try to get harder to get you guys to go over there and thumbs them up and, and see if we can get it going for the kids. It's not for me. I don't care about the thumbs up. The kids care about it. So let's make the kids smile. Today is all about the kids. Mixing some white in here now, and I'm just going to go over this helmet again with some white, and it's mixing in with the blue very nicely, and it's starting to create a shape, um, a contrast. So make sure you add some white in there and just fill it in. Go as close as you can. I understand that you can't get everything, but just try and try to keep your star star. We can go back over the star a little bit later and uh straighten it up some but for people to start but back to the adults just go over there you guys it doesn't cost you anything to thumbs up the kids it's it's really it really doesn't so if you got a moment um uh, please do that for the babies all right we well, ain't all babies over there either but we're artists you know and we want people to see our work and that's one way of getting the algorithm up for the chat. All right. So I'm working on him. I'm working on him, his helmet. And I see that his helmet is not, the face guard is really white or silver. So we're just going to go over it with some silver. All right. We'll go over it with that. And then give it a glow. All right. Just giving it a little glow there. Yeah, the kids deserve our sin. Exactly. And we if we don't tell them that, they won't know. They'll just think it's just something, whatever. You know what I mean? I did it for years when I was younger. I I just thought art was what, what it was whatever. And art is not whatever. Art is very important uh, in our society. It's, it's a good outlet. Some kids need art in order to cope and get along, and it opens the doors to many things. So please, you guys, don't let the art, don't think like it's not important. It's very important. It's so important. So please do. Please go over and show the kids you know. All right, I'm just kind of brushing my star a little bit, and I'm going to let this dry. And the reason why I'm going to let this dry is because when I start mixing paint, the paint is blending together, and I don't want that. I want the colors to be separated. 
All right, so now I can take this little bit of bluish, whitest color, and I'm just going to scribble on his jersey to let you guys know that it is reflected in the sun. And, hey, the numbers is done. So we're just going to scrub, scrub, scrub. Don't worry about it. If it gets a little out of hand, we'll fix it. it we will fix it. So just scrub his belly to make sure his belly's got some color to it as well. Just scrub around like so. All right. So we're starting to get this look that we really want. Keep your comment settings in the house. What's up, baby? Appreciate you coming in this afternoon. Appreciate you always coming in. Showing the kids some love. Now, under his arm here, there is uh, numbers, okay? There, he has numbers on each arm, right? But the numbers are, are jumbled up because he is reaching for this ball. He is trying to get this ball. So we're going to go ahead and let him get it, if that's what he's going to do. And we are going to paint in this number on the side. And I think it's looking like this could be a six. All right, so we're going to put that, the number six right there, all right? So now, let's get back. Let's rinse. Let's rinse, you guys. We're going back and forth, I know. Let's rinse. All right? And we're going to get into some black. Let's go straight into some black. Let's get these stillers up here because these cowboys, they are ahead of the game. We want to get the stillers caught up. All right, so we're going to come in here. We're going to paint this band around the arm and get it nice and curved like so. All right. And while we got the black, um, let's see what else we can do. All right. We're going to see what else we can do here. I like that. I put that little mark in there. Um, the Steelers are in this thing. I mean, they're in this thing to win it. So we want to make sure that we paint the socks. And get them nice and black because we scribbled over them earlier. If you need to, I need to, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, all right? And I'm going to separate his ankle like this because he has a shoe on. So I'm going to make sure that shoe is represented. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'll bring you in for a close-up, so don't worry, all right? Don't worry, don't worry. I got y'all, I got y'all. So I just want to paint the shoe. And we're going to make sure it's represented all the way down some kind of way. His shoes is he's getting kind of tangled up here, but it's, it doesn't matter. He's he's playing ball, and right now he is not worried about how his shoes look. So he's good. All right, so we're going to paint that back of the shoe like so. All right, I want to make this a little a little thicker. All right. All right. So we got that going on. Hope I haven't missed anybody in the chat. All right. I appreciate you all coming in. Go ahead and chop it up, y'all. We have a little bit, like 17 minutes left in this, in this thing. So we're going to get it together, okay? So now I want to start painting the men, all right? The men need to be painted. We're going to work on them. We're going to get this face guard for the still separated, put their logo on, and I think we're going to be able to call it a great afternoon. So now I'm going to rinse my brush. You guys have any brown? If you have it, get it. If you have burnt sienna, get it. If you have burnt umber, which I do, you know, that's my fave, get it, okay? And if you have some raw sienna, uh, somewhere around here. Get that out as well. Raw Sienna. Cool. Okay. Let me get these colors out. These are called flesh tones, guys. And you also need to have like a, a beige or a, a um unbleached titanium. These will make flesh tones out of anything. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the raw Sienna. I'm going to put a little bit down. We got 15 minutes to go. And so I want to make sure that we get these hands together. All right. So we get some burnt sienna on here. I love you guys. If we go over a little bit, I know you guys don't mind. I just try to keep my, I'm starting to try to keep my lives low because I want you guys to sit for the duration. Okay. Mark the shark is in the house. Mark the shark going to tell us who's going to win this football painting. 
It's football painting going on, Mark. I know you like a lot of things. And so I know you like surfing. I know you like animals. I know you like, you know, playing card games and stuff like that. So, Mark, we need to know who you think is going to win the uh, sports, the sports bowl. I mean, the art bowl. Yeah, the art bowl. That's what we call it. This is the art bowl, Mark. We have the students versus the Cowboys. Or, and some people might say, the Cowboys versus the Steelers. We don't know. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, let's get into the lighter brown. Okay. We're going to get into the lighter brown of it all. We're going to just go ahead and lay it out here. We're going to get his arm together. Okay. So we're going to get his arm and his hand. Just, uh oh, I messed up. I painted on the, um, on the, um, what's it call it? The wristband. Oh no, it's okay. I'll just take me a wet brush and I wring the water out of it and I'm gonna drag it off. Drag it off. All right, I'm gonna drag it off. I'm gonna rinse it out again. And if you have a towel, wipe it off. And I'm going to just wet it a lot. Okay, just wet it a lot, like that. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush again. I'm going to wipe it off on my top. I'm going to drag it off because the white paint is dry. It's dry, so it ain't, it's not going to come off. Right? And I'm just going to drag it down. Now I can take my top, just a little corner of it, and I'm going to wipe that paint off because, because I wet it up and I got it really loose, and now I'm able to take it off. Y'all see what I just did there? Okay. All right. Mark said, go Browns. Let's go. All right. So if you are a Browns fan, you can paint him. You can paint your color Browns, the Cleveland Browns, I would imagine that's the name of them. And they colors, and I think the Cincinnati Bengals. So the Browns, we know they have brown in it, but they wouldn't be called a brown if they didn't have brown. So what is the other color? Is it uh, red, yellow? The, what is the color of the brows? Mark will let us know in the chat. And if you want to paint your your guys brown, the colors of the Cleveland Browns, you can do so. So it's you. All right. So we're gonna paint this arm as well. This time I'm gonna be careful not to paint the arm band. And so we're just gonna paint that. Yeah, you can paint any color. If you want to paint them yellow and green, uh, if you like the um, Green Bay Packers, or if you like the Dolphins, whatever color you want it, you know the color of your favorite uniform. Um, so you just painted that color. If it's a high school team that you love, or a college team, or your grandson's football team, and you wanted to surprise him with the painting, you could do it. Marilyn says, Are you it's in cases I'm going back and forth? It's a tight game. Okay, let's go. Orange, brown, and orange. Okay, cool. All right, well. We're gonna go around here. I need to just shut up for a minute and take my time and get his arm together here. And then I'm gonna come over here and get these fingers together because he's reaching up. We just put down a base, a base coat. Careful not to go back over that arm band. All right. So over here we got fingers, fingers, fingers. Fingers, okay, and a thumb. So I just want to do that, represent that hand there. And over here, this cowboy has fingers too. And it's like both of them have their hand on the ball. They both have their hand out there. 
and they're reaching and they're stretching. Yeah, and it's so exciting. The crowd in the background is going wild. The crowd in the chat is going wild. The just kidding kids are going wild. I don't know who's gonna win this game, the the art bowl, but someone's going, someone has to win it. Someone has to win it. All right. So now I need to start separating people. And the way I can do that is I'm going to add a little bit of white here because number 16, his hands are lighter, a lighter shade. So we're going to make sure we get that in there and we're going to make his fingers a lighter shade. Okay. But we have an undertone going on. So that's all that is. It's an undertone. So we're going to get it and put it out there. All right. All right, so we got that going on. <clears throat> and here as well. Just get some white and add it in there, you guys. Yeah, like so. Just like that. And even on his arm, he has a light well, you can see that the sun or the lights reflected in the stadium is shining on his arm. So we're going to bring that down and make sure we talk about the highlights. Here, he has highlights on his arms. So we're going to get that. Oops, I got a little bit of blue in there. Let's see if it makes a difference. No, it doesn't. It actually looks good. So we're going to paint in his muscles. He has really thick muscles. He's a muscular player. And so we'll put those in there like so. All right. Now, how we doing, y'all? It's coming together or no? <laughs> oh, no, they're talking football talk. Talk that football talk, y'all. Let's go. So I'm get back into my black because I made a little bit of oopsie over here. So I want to... Go back and fix it. Let you guys know that there is plenty of room to make up and fix up something when you mess up. It doesn't have to stay messed up, okay? And I'm just going to drag it out. Drag a little over here, too, so it don't, it don't look weird when you drive. Like, why does it look like that over there? It doesn't look like that over here. So I'm just going to drag some over here as well. Stretch it out. All right. So now. Since I got some black on my breast, I'm just going to hunt around. I'm doing a hunt and see if I can find anywhere else that I might need to add it. And right now I'm saying a no. Okay. So what I can do is I can put a little bit of white on my breast or even that soft tan looking color. All right. No, I think I'm not. I think I want to do a four here and get some dark brown. All right. Let's go there. The dark brown is my burnt umber. We know that this pig skin is in the air. All right. It's in the air. And it's it is floating like it just don't care. All right. So we just gonna go ahead and put the pig skin up there. Poop, boom, poop. Make sure you save room for the lines. You know, there's always lines on the pig skin. But if you mess up, all right. Don't worry because once it dry, you can go back over it with the lighter color and make the pig skin lines, okay? So make sure you go in between the fingers. Yeah, go on in between there, all right? Go ahead and paint the whole bar except for the lines. Don't paint the line, but if you did it already, don't worry. You can fix it. I'm going to show you how to fix that, okay? But just throw that pig skin in the air. You are the quarterback. You are the painters. You are the quarterback. Debra Garrett's in the house. What's up, baby love? Appreciate you coming in. Okay, you say, hey, who that nation? Okay. Come on, family. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's root for your favorite team. We are coming into the stretch of the game. It is down to the final seconds of the game. We're about to paint, and we're going to see who wins this game. We don't know. This is the art bowl, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are painting the art bowl, and we are trying to get this 
ball out of the air. Honey is so, oh, it's just so much to see here. All right, so we're going to get this arm band painted here. I'm going to use this dark brown that I have, but I'm going to use it, but I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of raw umber. I'm going to show y'all just like this because the dark, the burnt umber will make him too dark, okay? He's a dark guy, but he's not that dark. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start painting him, okay? We're going to paint his hand here. We did already with a lighter color, but now we have to come behind it with a darker tone, okay? And that we do that because we want the underlays, underlays, all right, underlays. And you don't have to paint the whole hand. It's best that you don't, all right? And so you paint that, you paint in here where his armband reaches in here because they are entangled. These two guys are going for the ball. They're going for the win, okay? And I'm just kind of even that off some. Okay, they're going for the win. It's a tight game. This is the Art Bowl, boys and girls. We don't know who's going to win. We just know somebody's going to win. Somebody is going to take home the win today. Who will it be? Let's find out. We're going to keep painting until we find out who is the winner, okay? Take your time. Don't rush. Get in there. Get those arms done, okay? Get those arms done. Now, when doing so, now you have to put a little muscle in his arms. So if you got some brown stuff on your paintbrush, go ahead and do it. Fan the arm out so you can get an elbow out of it. Bring it back in. And you can add a little bit of lightness to him just to blend it all in. Bring that arm out there, okay? Yeah, there you go. Now, we're working on it. It's coming together. It's coming together. Educated Naturals in the building. What, we, what, who will win this game? We don't know. We are trying to find out. All right, so we're going to get this arm together. We're painting. We're painting. The kids are enjoying it. they saying thank you. Yes, they saying thank you because you guys are pumping it up over here at 755 Media. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We don't know who's going to win, but we are trying to find out. Get a little raw sienna on your breast if you can. Add some color to these hands. Just stripe them, you guys. You don't have to figure out every finger. You don't have to figure out every detail of it all. You know that these guys are playing hard. The game is down to the final seconds. We're doing whatever we're doing over here to make this painting come to life for the final remaining of this uh, this game, we don't know who's going to win, but we are working. We are working. Okay, so anybody have any questions? If your art didn't come out the way you wanted it to, it's okay. It's okay. We can fix it. We can work on it together. Have your parents email me at 755 Art Media Art at gmail.com. We will get you on the right path, okay? I want all the kids to park to win. So we're gonna get we're gonna take care of you kids. We're gonna take good care of you over here. So we got that hand going. That hand look real good, y'all. Wait till y'all see it up close. All right. So the ball is in the air. I don't have the shape of the ball going the direction it should be going, but we're gonna work on that. Let's wet our brush. We got a little brown. I do mix you some sienna and mix you some white together like this and make this lighter color. You can put much white in there as you want, okay? You can get it going there. Don't waste no paint. Get in there and get that dried up paint with your wet brush. There you go. You got it? All right, now, come on over here. The ball is in the air. Make your line going straight across the ball like so. And then you got to make these little, little detail marks, hash marks on the side like that. Yeah, you know, you got to make sure that ball is represented. Yeah, the stitching. It's called the stitching of the ball. That's right. All right. So you put the stitching on the ball like that. And if you go out of line, it's okay. We will fix it. We always do, right? All right. So get the stitching together. Make sure it makes sense. All right. So that ball is in the air. It's in the air. Tori, the ball is up. It's, it's up there. What, what are we going to do? Who's going to get it? Albert is in the house. What's up, Albert? Could be the 
He could be the team, the part of the team team that tells us and gets up to his his particular team that he loves and and gets them to catch the ball. Albert, cheer, cheer us on. Cheer us on. We are coming down to the wire, you guys. So make these lines short. You don't want to take up the whole ball. That's not how they look. So make sure y'all talk about how it really truly looks and get in there. How I'm looking on time. Oh, the time is up, but we're going to keep painting because we almost there. Uh, there's really no time limit on just kidding. All right. It really isn't. Um, but I was just trying to keep my lives down short because I am trying to build an algorithm over there. Okay. So if you could, if you don't mind, and if you haven't already, please go over to the Just Kidding channel. Hit the thumbs up for them kids. Because they is crazy, though. All right? They're so crazy. And so now, I see his band. This is the Steelers armband. It needs to be a golden color. Kansas City Chiefs, what? Okay, let's paint them. Let's paint them. The kids, they want the Kansas City Chiefs. So we're going to get a little bit of yellow on here. And put it on his armband. Like so. Okay. And then while we got it out, we're going to freshen up this over here. Yeah, we're going to freshen this up. Some yellow. All right. And even the stripe. Because we painted yellow on top of black, it made it a little difficult. But we're doing what we're doing up in here. Okay, so it's a strike there. And look, I'm seeing that there's a hidden strike back here. So I'm going to put it in there. Like that. All right? Now, I want to go back over his leg while I got this yellow out. I do. I want to put down some little bit of white. And I want to get his leg painted a little bit better. Okay? So since so we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it, right? I'm buying some celebrating over there. Okay, MC for Casey, celebrating. Marissa, hey, Marissa. Marissa says she loves the painting. Let's go, Marissa. Who's your team? Who are you picking? Marissa, tell us. We all want to know. Everybody's been waiting on you to tell us who will win the Art Bowl. The Art Bowl, the first Art Bowl, annual Art Bowl. Okay? So we just going to put this yellow in there. And it's so bright and it's so beautiful. And it is representing that the lights in the stadium is shining off this man. He is a beast out here on the field. He has been running up and down, tackling and catching all night. And his clothes is glowing. They're glowing. All right. So to knock that back a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of raw sienna because I have it on my palette. So I'm going to knock it back. It's sort of like an off look of a red. So what it's giving me is a reddish tone, more like a gold tone. And I'm going to paint what we know as the hiney. So just get the hiney and stretch it down into my yellow. And as I'm stretching it down into my yellow, it starts to blend. And that's what we want, okay? Looking good. All right. So now I see that the back of his shirt has um, the way he's turned. This is the back of his shirt. He has black there. And I represented that. Now, in the helmet part, that's going to be very tricky. But while we got this out, we're going we're gonna to dance around in here. Put a little of this raw sienna because all of this is shadow area. So we're just going to shadow it up with this color right here. Just like we did the Cowboys. We gave them a nice shadowing. We have to do the Steelers the same way. They deserve it. Okay, they deserve it. And then we just talk about that. And then we will run around here with it. Like so. Like so. Okay. And get that talked about. I'm going to come up here in this armband. And I'm going to do it again up here with the raw sienna. And the yellow mixture, and you're just going to get a nice, nice crisp color. Bring it down for his armband. And I think, I really think that's 
about it, okay? I might be wrong, but I, I think that's about it on that. I'm going to go ahead and rinse, and if I can come back in here and do some more work, I will. Now, the armband uh, coming here around the jersey, it has black in it. I rinsed my brush. I got my detail brush. I'm getting me some black paint, and I'm just going to come around here with it. And I also see two stripes here. So let me get those. And it's, it's another stripe. It's another stripe right there. Wait a minute. Try to see where it go. Like that. Bam! We're going to let that dry, y'all. Get some white on your brush. Come on up into this helmet. It's still this helmet. Okay? So we're going to put a little shine on it. There's also a, a white stripe that goes across the top. We're going to put that in there. The face guard. We have to talk about the separation of darkness in here. So we're just going to do a little swipe. All right? We got to make the face guard. It comes out like that just by using some diamonds. I no longer have any. Now, now I'm going to tell y'all the truth. The kids is in the background. They're not painting it. They paint what the heck they want. I don't know what this look like a witch. The other one, I wish I could screenshot it. The, this one look like a witch. I don't know what this other one is. I think it's supposed to be a superhero of some sort. And the other screen is just blank. So we just painting over here, adults. Okay, <laughs> adults. Don't be out, adults. So I'm just going to come down. With the white stripe right here, like so. Because the kids just done abandoned this whole situation, okay? They don't care who win it. They don't care nothing about it. They don't want to see when it's done. Now, I ain't going to even lie. They don't want to see when it's done. But as of right now, them kids going, they done did everything they wanted to do over there, and it was not this. I'm just being honest. So don't expect no kid version of this coming through unless somebody else did it from home. Because from what I see on the camera, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> okay, family? It ain't going to happen. Don't even get, look, don't even toot your miles to ask for it. Where's the painting of the kids painting the football players? Um, to ask them, because I don't know. So I'm just going to darken up that number right there. And so right now, family, I'm going to try to get this helmet painted up here. We're going to go to end this thing, because them kids is gone, girl. Them kids is gone. And that, my friend, is why I was trying to say I wanted my lives to be a little bit shorter. So I, I had to figure it out. I really do. But until I do, we're going to have a good time up up in here. Okay? We're about to have a good time. Celebrate, y'all. All right. So I'm going to put this on here. And, all right. And so let's get the number. I mean the logo on the Stillers helmet, and then I, I think we can pretty much uh, going for a close up. I want to make his hand a little bit bigger. These are supposed to be knuckles, honey. We'll see how that goes. Oh no, I turned it to a knuckle. I just closing the gap on that. And also, I just want to make it a little dark over here. Because that look cray cray. And push it out just a little bit. Lord, how much of these kids is something else. Um, these kids are something else. But we're going to keep trying with them. We don't give up on them. We are not going to give up. That's not what I'm going to do, for real. All right, so the Steelers logo is very tricky. Lord have mercy. Um, Let's go. I got a joke for you guys. If anybody's interested, when should a football player wear armor? When should a football player wear armor? When they play night games, all righty. 
All right, y'all. Settle down. He's um he's uh jokes is brought to you by accessory. Please reapply. All right, so up here in the top of the still is it's a star and it's yellow. We're just gonna make a little swish mark there. Rinse our brush out, dry it off, go into our red. Come on, golden paint. Don't feel me now. Get that golden paint out. Get that paint, whatever you're using. All right. And you get a little bit. Just a dab. Go straight from the tube. There's no need to put none down on the on the uh palette. Just get a little bit out of there, right? Then come right in here. And this side over here, farthest to your right is red. Just make a little dab up there. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to uh, be a big mark. You don't have to try to get that that star. They got stars. Both of them have stars. Still they got stars. And Cowboys got stars. There we go. My paint was dried up. All right, so now I just bust the, bust the skin over it. So now I can use it again. Oh, then we put a little bit of blue right there. Right there, right there. Now, they had a the name on their helmet, but it's so tiny, we won't be able to get it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of black on my brush and swoop right there to indicate that there is uh, a name there. All right? Just let it dry. And so while it's drying, I just want to give a big shout out and a big thanks to each and every one of you guys for coming in every week the way you do and supporting these kids the way you do. It's important that we keep supporting the children and with the, you know, the exercise and something other than sitting around and watching violence all day or, you know, doing something crazy. So I, I encourage you all to continue to bring them in. I don't care that they're not paying attention right now. Some of them, yours may be. So I don't care. I'm painting for them. I'm painting for those who really want it. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't giving up on nobody. So y'all don't give up on me. Please continue to come in and let's enjoy what we have going on with the kids. It's important. Very important. I mean, y'all know what it is. We the adults in the situation. Okay. So through it all, it's our responsibility, and uh, I, 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 um, I, um, I challenge you guys to do something for the kids this week. Okay, I challenge you guys to do something for the kids this week. I think it will be rewarding. And um, if you haven't done anything on your channel for the kids, that's my challenge for you. Do something for the kids. Let me see what you got over there. So, that being said, ta -da! who is the winner? Let's see. Who is the winner? I'm trying to find y'all one more joke. How do football players stay cool? How do, because you know, out there on that field, and they jumping for this ball and reaching out like this. How do football players stay cool? They stay cool by standing close to the fans. Hey, they they go to the fans. They all up in there. Yeah, they all up in there, family. They all up in there. Here we go, y'all. Bring in for a close up. I hope y'all enjoyed this Art Bowl 2022 with the Just Kidding Paint Slingers. We did our thing, y'all. Look at that. Who's who's gonna get it? Don't say, oh, look at the fingers. Come on, that's our show. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, there's a lot you can do an hour. But uh, Peyton fans ain't one of them. So he's reaching up. They're all going for it. Check out the grid. Check out the crowd. The crowd is going wild. The ball is up there. The lights is glowing. Y'all, I think, I think this is, I think, you know what I think? Maybe I want me to tell y'all who I think won Art Bowl 2022. I'm going to tell y'all. You. Hell yeah. I think you guys did. I think all the kids won and, and everybody who's participated, whether you're a great supporter 
whether you went over there and did a thumbs up, or whether you painted the art, I think you all did well. I appreciate you guys coming out. I really do. I thank you so much. And if you're interested in uh, showing me what you painted, uh, please do send me the email. Y'all know what it is, 755 media art at gmail.com. Look at that. Look at that, fam. Look at that. They really catch the ball. Or did the cowboy knock it away? Or did the cowboy get it and intercept and run down for the touchdown? Or did the Steeler get it and he got it and slammed in for the touchdown? We don't know. It's however you paint it. So I appreciate y'all coming out. I want to tell you guys to stay tuned for next week. I'll be sending out e uh, email for all the painters that do paint with me. So if you're interested in getting the art reference photo for next week, I'm trying to get ahead of this game, y'all. It's tough over here. I'm doing my best. I really am. So just be patient with me. It's all coming together. If you do not see your kid or your kids are in the just kidding um, video that I'm about to show, please don't trip. Don't, don't fret. I had an issue with a folder that had a lot of stuff in, and I cannot get it. I don't know what's going on. So I might have to have this resend it. I don't know yet. Just give me a moment. I'm still working on it. The song is almost done. I'm happy the way it's turned out. Shout out to Shandy Cheek Music, who did the whistling at the beginning of the song. She really make it sound like one of the old Clearwood Eastwood uh, joints. And I appreciate that, Shandy. You sound great. Thank you so much. You're very talented over there, sir. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and check out Shandy Cheek Music. She's available. She's available. She's available, okay? So if y'all interested in some music, Go over there. She put something together for y'all. But meanwhile, our Bowl 2022, just kidding. Thank you for coming in. Kids deserve art. Don't forget that. And I'll see y'all next week. I'm going to play the new joint for y'all. Let me play it 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 for y'all. Yeah, where is that? Oh, here it go. There it go. Spank Slingers. It's hot noon. Hot noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. Draw. Set up, set up, set up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'll teach 755. The wait is over. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. The just kidding kids are the best kids, baby. Yes, they are. Are you ready? Just kidding.